Now we're going to look at how to do a purl stitch, which is the other most basic stitch you can do when knitting. So we're going to start by making our slip knot again. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a thumb cast on technique. So that's the one where we have to, if we're going to have 10 stitches, we need to whiz this round our needle 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, to make sure we've got enough yarn to do that cast on technique with. So I'm going to make my slip knot just up there where we finished counting. So I'm going to make my loop. I'm going to pop that under there and pull the long end up and through. And I'm just going to pop that on my needle. And then I need to take my tail end, pop my needle up through there. And I'm going to bring my yarn around the back and draw that through. I'm going to whiz through this quite quickly. So if you want to look in the technique section for how to do it a little bit more slowly, then feel free. But I'm just going to show you how to do this now in a slightly quicker way. So we're going to bring this round. We're going to cast on 10 stitches. So that's four. We're going to bring that through there. And with casting on, do you know, it's the same with everything with knitting really is you find the thing that works best for you and you tend to stick with it. This one's quite a nice way of casting on because it's almost making a stitch for you as you start. So you've got quite a good solid row to get going from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to do two more. Just bring that round there. And then our last one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is our purl stitch. So to do a purl stitch, we bring our needle, we're holding everything in the left hand again and our cast on side in our left hand. We're going to bring that right needle and we're going to pop it to the front. So it's going to go in from the right hand side of our cast on stitch to the left and it's going to cross the back needle by sitting on the top. And then what we do with our yarn is we're going to bring it around. We've got to bring it between those needles again from the middle through to the front. And then what this needle needs to do on the front is it's going to go through and catch that yarn and we're going to pull that stitch off the top again. So I'm going to show you that again. We're going to bring this right needle. He's going to go in from the right side of that loop there to the left. And it's going to sit at the front of that crossed pair of needles. And then my yarn in my right hand, I'm going to bring that around the back of that front needle draw it to the front and then what I've got to do with the tip of my needle here is bring it round, catch it up and then I can pull that cast on stitch off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wiggle around a bit so you can see a bit clearer as well. I'm going to pop that right needle in there so it crosses over the front. If I bend this this way you'll be able to see as I bring that yarn across the top so it's between those two and then I can use the tip of this needle to just catch him up and it allows me to pull that off the top and I've made that loop for my purl stitch. So let's show you that again. He's going in, crossing that needle there like that. This yarn is going over the top and then that needle can then catch him up and pull that stitch off there like that. It does feel a bit fiddlier, but you actually get quite used to it quite quickly. So don't be put off. And you see we're just catching that yarn there and taking him off our needle. So we'll do the last three. We're going to use our slip knot again. It's going to be one of our stitches. So that's going in, it's crossing the top, that yarn is coming all the way around there between those two needles. That needle is going down, catching that yarn there, and we're taking it off the top. So we do our last two. It's going in here. This is coming across, so it's between those two. It's coming down, so it's catching that yarn, and we can take it off. And you'll see we've got one left, which is our first slip knot, and he's going to count as our stitch. So that's crossed over again. That right one on the top, that yarn is coming over. We're going to just go back through there and pick it up. 
we're going to take that off. So what we've just made there is a row of 10 purl stitches. What I'm going to do is carry on doing another row of purls so you can see. So I'm going to take that over into my left hand again and I'm going to work my first purl stitch exactly the same way we just did with the cast on row. So it's going to go in at the front there. This yarn is coming around and we're going to grab it and we're pulling it all off over the top there. So we're going to keep purling. He's going in the front. I'm going to bring that around there and then we can grab that and pull it off our needle. So what you're seeing we're starting to make. When you're purling your yarn, your working yarn sits to the front of your work. The difference from when you're knitting is the knitting stitch means your yarn will sit to the back. So you know you're purling when your yarn is coming to the front. And it's because when you're working, you're working to the front of that needle. So that's coming around there. We're going to pick that up and pull it through. And you'll see what we're doing is exactly the same as before. We're creating those purl stitches by working into the front loop of our stitch, picking it up and pulling it off. And this is one of those things, you just get a bit more dexterous as you do it. You get more confident and comfortable doing it until you don't even notice <laughs> the difference. It's just one of those things that comes with practice. So we shall do these last four just working to the front there, bringing it round, picking it up. And while it looks a little bit fiddly, it actually is, becomes quite fluid. And so what we have there is our second row of purl stitch. And when we turn it round, you'll see slightly different from a knit stitch but you've still got this raised, it's quite a horizontal design when you've just got all pearls sitting next to each other. 